Hi everyone, Nick Kratikos of Nick's Seasonal Decor, and tonight you're watching me in Bodabra, which means it's Monday at 7 Eastern. Uh, we are live here every week, and Dad is behind the camera tonight, so as you guys come in, be sure to say hi. This upcoming week is especially busy. Uh, we are actually flying to Dallas Wednesday, which happens to be my 23rd birthday. Uh, I feel incredibly old. I remember the first time I did a live at 17, and here I am, you know, five years later. So it's been crazy. Um, but yeah, we have lots of bows to make, and tonight we're going to mix it up. We're actually going to be creating kind of a, you know, a perfect summer wreath. Uh, that can kind of transition into fall, uh, but we're going to be using some pinks and some lime greens uh, for that. Here we have our large Bodabra, and I'm just going to pull up the video. Another really cool uh, thing that we set up last week is actually a texting feature. So if you guys would like notifications every time we are live here in Bodabra, you can text the number uh, 978-396-9150, and we'll be able to send you an alert each and every week right before we go live. So I'm just going to share this video and make sure you guys can see us okay. Okay, so we have the large Bodabra. We also have the mini Bodabra. Dad showing off all of the ribbons we're going to be using tonight. Um, and it's just going to be fun. Here's the wire we're going to be using. So for those of you new here, you may have not seen this wire before. This is a 100-yard spool of Bodabra wire. And you guys can get this through our affiliate link down below in the comment section. Uh, so just... You know, down below they will have the link shared where you guys can purchase all of their cool supplies as well as their ribbon collections they've put together. So we're going to start with our large Bodabra and create our first bow. Hi everyone. Welcome. And that Bodabra wire does come in silver and gold. It does, yes. So I just cut a length of it and we're just going to place that right into the top of our Bodabra. And I like to take my wires and tuck them underneath just to get them out of the way for the time being. So for those of you, as you come in, if you received our text alert, let me know. Happy, happy birthday, Nick. My birthday is Sunday. Well, happy early birthday, Joe. I hope you have a great day. So the first bowl, we're going to do kind of a, I'd say an everyday monochromatic, even Halloween themed bow. So we have this two and a half inch black and white stripe. Hi, Linda. Thank you, Pamela. Susan's birthday was Saturday. Let's all wish Joe a happy early birthday and a Susan uh, and Susan a belated birthday. Happy birthday, guys. So we're going to do a funky bow, but this bow is going to be two ribbons. So, you know, for those of you that have been asking how to create a funky bow using multiple ribbons and multiple widths, here you go. We're going to create loops about six to eight inches, tails pretty much the same, like so. And we're going to repeat this process over and over again. Hey, Kay. Shirley got the text, Diane got the text, awesome. Yeah, so it's a new feature, and we actually just started that the other day. Um, so, you know, as you guys come in, we'll talk more about that, but it just gives you a possibility of receiving an instant text, letting you know when we're live. Uh, that way you guys can tune in, because I know lots of people miss them, and they kind of feel bad about that. So now we have direct access to all of you. Place our second piece. This is a sheer one and a half inch ribbon. What a great combo that is. What do you think of that, Dad? I love it. I love it too. So we'll just come back in with the black and white. And if you have any questions along the way, feel free to ask. That's what we're here for. Gwen received the text. Pam got the text. Awesome. Thank you for letting me know it worked. You guys know how technology can be. Sometimes it's a hit. Sometimes it's a miss. You never really know. All right. Coming back in with the sheer, we'll do three sets of each. I love this ribbon. Right? So lots of you guys have been asking here on Bodabra how to use non-wired, uh, not, this is wired, but uh, sheer ribbon. And I figured let's show you today. So that's our second piece. Becky loves the text. Thank you, Becky. Hey, Marianne, nice to see you. Our third piece of the black and white. Pamela says she needs the text. Yes, so you can text us. And I finally memorized it, you guys. 978-396-9150. And every time I say that, I always want to say 9150. Um, I don't know if it's just like a <laughs> New England thing, but whenever we give our zip code, our zip code happens to be 01969 or 01969. And we always say, oh, I don't know. I don't think it's even just my family. I think everybody <laughs> says that. Um, so let me know if you guys say that too, because I think that just might be a weird thing that we do here. But now that we have our bow constructed, we added our wire initially. And if you missed that, you'll see it again in a few minutes. Denise got the text. Carolyn got the text. Thank you guys for letting me know. Um, I think it's going to be so helpful. 
Marianne says, happy soon to be 23rd, Nick. Thank you, Marianne. Yes, I'm a little sad about that. I'm getting old, you guys. Oh, please. 23 is not <laughs> old. <laughs> so take the wires, flip your bow over, and tie from behind. Texting is working great. Thank you, Brenda. So Bodabra has shared the link where you guys can purchase their, you know, um, Bodabras, both the mini and the large. You can purchase the wire there. You can also purchase some ribbon collections they have to offer. And you can also see what today's giveaway is going to be, which is going to be a scrunchy ribbon. So if you would like to win, what you have to do is just let us know. That's it. All you have to do is comment down below you'd like to win a free roll of ribbon, and you might be our lucky winner tonight. You have no idea. Bodabra says, oh, stop. You are far from old. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hey, time flies by, and I feel like I talk about that all the time. I mean, life just goes by so fast, and I know I'm, you know, 23, well, 22. I'm going to take that as long as I can. I can say 22 for the next two days, but, you know, I'm I, feeling old. I'm with Teresa. Oh, to be 23. <laughs> <laughs> all right, time to fluff your bow out, and I see we have over 150 viewers. Thank you all so much for the likes and shares, and if you enjoy seeing us here on Bodabra, the best thing you can do is let us know. So if you want to see more of these tutorials, and if you find them help, you know, helpful, you know, just drop a comment down below. We appreciate that. That's probably the biggest thing you can do for us is just, you know, express that these videos are helpful. Gwen would like to win. Diane would like some ribbon. Awesome. Debbie would like to win. Okay, so throwing away our little scrap pieces of ribbon. Now what we can do is just give it one final good fluff. See, look at how pretty that would look on a present, right? You can make it a little bit smaller unless you're giving a big present. Look at that. So that's a double ribbon bow using both one and a half inch and two and a half inch, but more specifically, we're using a one and a half inch shear, which you don't see a whole lot. Uh, and it's a I nice combo. It. I used to hate shear ribbon. And over the last year and a half, two years now, I've kind of grown to love it. Uh, not as a main rib, actually I take that back too, because we did use this a couple weeks ago live on my page, and the wreath turned out really pretty with just that ribbon alone. I think it would depend on the color too of the shear, you know Nick? Yeah, I mean this is white. So yeah, I mean, but it looks nice though. Little dots. I can't get any more plain than this, and it still looks great. So that's our first bow. I want to use this black ribbon again. I want to show you guys how to make a simple Halloween bow with just that. So we'll cut another length of our wire. Here's the wire. Little goes a long way, but I do like to be a little wasteful with my wire. Um, I would hate to cut a whole extra piece to secure it to something. So having it a little bit longer definitely is better than having it too short. So for this bow, we're going to cut two tails or one long piece. I'm going to cut it a little bit longer. So about 24 inches on either side. Place it right in the middle. And uh, Anna would love to win. And she loves watching. Thank you, Anna. So this bow, it's just going to be a very simple bow. So we're going to take it, place it inside our bodabra like so, upside down. And I like to rotate my bodabra one half turn and then create my loop. So I know some designers like to just use the bodabra by twisting the, bod uh, the bodabra. No, twisting their hands instead of the bodabra. I like to twist my bodabra instead of my hands. So again, I'll twist it, place it inside. Gladys would love to win. Create your next loop. And so on and so forth. So we're gonna do three loops on either side. About the same size. These are about four and a half, five inch loops. Is it harder to make a, a bow with two and a half inch, Nick, versus um, one and a half? Or? So that's my I would, question. So. I wouldn't say it's harder. So that's your question, Dan? Yeah, I question. wouldn't say it's harder. I just think one and a half inch is more fitting for more designs. So a two and a half inch is a little bit bulkier, and I feel like you can get more use out of a one and a half inch, but we still use two and a half inch. And actually this year, we're gonna be using it a lot more than we typically do. So now that we have three loops on either side, we're gonna come back in with this ribbon and create two additional loops that are only gonna be about three and a half inches or so. Nancy K says, I'm gonna try that twisting like you do. Yes, give it a shot and let me know. So, you know, uh, the beauty of the Bodabra is that you can customize it to your hand. So if it doesn't work the way I do it for you, you know, by all means, there's so many other designers and definitely join Bodabra's fan gallery and join Nick's seasonal decor crafting community. We have, you know, thousands upon thousands of members that actually own the Bodabra and post pictures of their designs that they create using it. Um, and you know, I'm sure everybody would be just as helpful. So if I don't teach you the correct way for your eyes, you know, Sandy does a great job demonstrating how to use, you know, her device. Um, so there's just so many different tutorials out there. So many different blog posts of using this tool that'll help you. So we'll secure that. I see we're at almost 200 viewers. Thank you all. 
Maurice says, very Beetlejuice ribbon. <laughs> right? That's what I think. And I used to think Beetlejuice was Johnny Depp, but I was, you know, uh, corrected. It's not Johnny Depp. Who, who Mike, is it actually? Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. That's who it is. Tie it from behind. Give it two or three knots. Johnny Depp did Edward Scissorhands, though. Yeah. That's what it was. All right. There's the bow. Now it's time for the most important step with all bow making, which is going to be fluffing your bow out. So we have the little button loop right in the middle. We'll pull those three bigger loops on either side. Denise says you're an amazing crafter. Thank you, Denise. And there's your bow. Tell me that's not beautiful. Oh, it came out awesome. Right? What do you guys think? Show some hearts if you like that. It's so full. It's beautiful. Over 206 viewers. Thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. All right. So there's the next bow. How are we doing on time? We got plenty of time. So now what we'll do is we'll do a polka dot bow. So this was actually a very popular ribbon uh, that we designed with on Nick's Seasonal Decor, I want to say two, three months ago. And everybody was asking me to use polka dot ribbon again. You know, I used to use it all the time years ago. And then I kind of, you know, strayed away for it, uh, from it for a little bit. But, I mean, look at this ribbon. That's, I love that ribbon. Right? Hi, Nancy. Yeah, we are leaving on the red eye Wednesday morning. I think our flight leaves at 6 a.m. 6 a.m., yes. So we have to leave the house at like 4.30. Yeah, we're going to be <laughs> up early. Uh, but how many of you guys are joining us at Wreath Makers Live? I am so excited. I will be taking this stage um, with so many other talented designers, and it's going to be so much fun. This is the third Wreath Makers Live, uh, and I'm so thankful and blessed that I've been on stage all three times, or two times. This is going to be our third. Yeah. Um, and it's so much fun because I get to bring Dad, and I get to bring Alex with me, and you guys know they are a vital part of our business. So it's kind of like... You know, our little tradition to go on these little business trips together. So, you know, for me, it's business. They get to have a little bit more leisure and a little bit more fun. But, you know, the good thing is, is we're spending a couple extra days. We have, you know, a few other things we got to tackle in Dallas. And then, so this is going to be a fun, uh, traditional bow. So all we're doing is the same process. This is, this is probably the easiest bow. Just creating four to five inch loops. As many as you would like. The more you have, the more full it's going to be. All right, so that's three loops on that side. Let's do a total of four on either side. Then you guys get to see how pretty this really looks. So Bodabra also has Instagram and Pinterest. Be sure to follow them there. That's four now. And I think we need one more on this side. So our final loop doesn't have to be even. That was a question we got last week here on Bodabra is does it have to be even the amount of loops you do on one side? And the answer is 100% no. Um, you can make one side have four, the other side have three, one five, the other side four. Doesn't make a difference. You'll still have a beautiful bow. Just keep in mind the more loops you have, the more full your bow is going to actually be. All right, so now pull it tight in the middle. Hey, Tracy. Tracy would love to win. Who doesn't love polka dots, says Nancy. I know. So for those of you just tuning in, Bodabra is giving away a free roll of scrunchie ribbon tonight. And all you have to do is just let us know. Denise said it's very hot, you guys. I'm assuming she says Dallas because Denise said I she's know. going. Oh, Denise is coming. Awesome, Denise. I can't wait to see you. Yeah, Dallas is going to be brutal hot. <laughs> yeah, but we're going to be in the hotel for, you know, 90% of it. So the hotels are going to be ice cold. You're going to wear a sweatshirt in the hotel. The second you open those doors, it's going to be like a million degrees. But every hotel I've ever been to has been ice cold, which I love. Uh, but just keep that in mind, you know. All right, traditional bow. What do you that, think? That's amazing. Isn't that pretty? Love that ribbon. Me too. Give some hearts if you guys like that. So with this ribbon, I think we'll do one more bow. Let's use our mini just to show you that you can use a mini bow dabber with some wide ribbon. So we'll cut another length of our wire. You know, we don't need a super long length, but always cut it a little bit, a little bit longer than you anticipate. Nancy Wait, says 98 feels like 110. <laughs> yeah, well, 75 here feels like 110. So if it's actually 110 there, we're gonna we're in for a treat then. So we're gonna just do a, a traditional bow tie now. So not traditional bow, but a traditional bow tie. So we'll cut some tails. We don't need them long, about 14 inches on either side or so. And to dovetail, we're gonna just take our tails, fold them in half, and cut from the middle out towards the wired edge at an angle, like so. See how pretty? Yep. We'll just take that, place it into the heart of our bodabra, our mini bodabra. 
Can't wait to meet you as well, Denise. Will there be videos from Wreath Makers Live for us to see? Would love to win the ribbon. So, okay, uh, they do have a um, virtual ticket. They are selling virtual tickets. And, you know, we might do a little pop in. Wreath Makers Live does get incredibly busy, but I know plenty of attendees are going to be popping in live here and there. Um, I always want to do lives, but I feel like every time we've been, we just haven't had the chance to, you know, pop in live. Um, but who knows? Maybe we will. And if we do, you know, make sure that you're a part of our texting uh, service. That way we can send a text if we do decide to go live and we can show you guys a little bit about what's happening. Kay says she can't wait to see us. Me too, Kay. I'm so excited. Nancy says, love your family. Everyone is awesome. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. All right. So two loops on either side. And then we're going to just really compress it in there and do our final loop. Final loop is called what, Doug? A little button loop. A little button loop. We'll snip it off. Feruza says, happy birthday, Nick. Thank you. Still 22, though, you guys. <laughs> I'm milking it. As long it. <laughs> as I can get. All right. Now we're going to just take our wires, pull them to the middle. I like to just hold my bow, especially if it's all the way to the top. Pull it out. Bella's 20 tomorrow, guys. Yes, yeah, so I forgot to say, I feel like we make that speech every year. So our family's a little bit weird. Bella's birthday, my baby sister, is tomorrow, July 27th. She's going to be 20. I'm turning 23 the 28th, and then Dad's birthday is the 29th. So we have three birthdays right after one another, which is, you know, crazy when you think about it. I'm going to be 35. Yeah, Dad's going to be 35. <laughs> Not counting the summers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, little bow tie. That's cute. How cute would that be like on a bunny or something springy and summery? I think that would look great. You pulled that off with a little one. Right? Cool. Joanne says that is a happy yellow. I agree. So, but mini Bodabra, if you only had to purchase one, I'd re uh, recommend the large one for bow making and for, you know, wreath designing and lanterns. Uh, this is great for hair bows. And, the, you know, the owner, Sandy, does a wonderful job creating hair bows using this. So definitely check out her tutorials here on the page. Uh, but you still can create decent sized bows on that. You know, that's a two and a half inch ribbon. That's pretty much the size of this. I know. And right? it does a great job. It does a great job. All right. So we got 13 minutes left. Let's do one more bow. Let's do just a simple red bow with this two and a half inch red. So we're using a lot of two and a half inch today because you guys have been asking a lot about the two and a half inch. I always read your comments, you guys. You know, I might not have the ability to answer everybody, uh, but I definitely go back and check to see what you guys need to, you know, learn and what you'd like to see. Uh, I always make sure to you know, put in that effort and make sure that, you know, I answer as many questions as possible. So if you have any questions, now's the time to ask. Hi, Judy. All right, this bow. Thank you. Cut off two tails. Again, we'll start off by dovetailing. Let's try something totally different. So we'll dovetail. Oh, right into the ribbon. <laughs> into the, to the glue. glue. Thank you, everyone, for all the, the birthday wishes for all of us. We appreciate it. Yes. So that glue's a little hot, so I'm not going to really mess with it right now. But we'll just place the tails in like that. Hey, Wanda, thank you. We're going to... Let's see, what do I want to do with this? You know what we can do? How about we just do a bunch of tails? I don't think we've ever tried that. Let's try that, you guys. So we'll just place our ribbon in, right? And we'll see how this turns out. Snip. Mary Ann says, me too, Steve. <laughs> We're both 35. Right? <laughs> Snip another length. We can dovetail all of these afterwards. We'll just place a bunch of tails and we'll see how it looks. Maybe after, on our final piece, we'll work in one loop to finish it off. But who knows? We'll see. And if it turns out great, awesome. And if it doesn't, then we just know that we never have to try that bow technique again. Next tail. Coming back in with another piece of ribbon. Pinch. Work it inside. Let's do one more. That's a pretty red too. It is a pretty red. So this is just like a typical burlap canvas ribbon. So that's our final tail. Now what we can do is just come back in with a little loop. Snip it off. A little button loop. A little button loop. Place it inside the bodabra. Thank you, Eleanor. Now we can just secure it. Tie it off. All right. 
So just twist it around. I see we have over 230 viewers. Thank you, guys. Tie it off from behind. So this is kind of our debut. See how this bow looks? Not sure. Thank you, Sharon. So again, any of the products that you're you know seeing tonight, <clears throat> other than these ribbons, Bodabra does have their own ribbon collections. Uh, you can order through our affiliate link in the comment section. So for the rest of this bow, all we're going to have to do is just dovetail these tails. And then we'll kind of do a grand uh, reveal and see if it was worth our effort. <laughs> right? We all are right. about to find out. We'll find out. So just dovetail by folding in half, cutting from the middle out towards the wired edge. Got one ta two tails left. Chocolate chip cookies next week for the birthday gift. Ooh. I missed who said it, though. Sometimes this goes fast. Right? It does go fast. I'm looking at you, then I look down, it's boom, it's gone. <laughs> Nancy says that. Oh, thank you, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to pull our longer tails down. Open up our button loop right in the middle. Fluff all the side loops or side tails. We don't have any loops besides that middle one. I think this came out nice. Something different, right? Yeah. I've never seen this before. It looks good. Right? So don't forget, too, you guys, we did create a tutorial using uh, our camera, our can Canon, Nikon, Nikon no. camera? I'm not sure. Canon. A pre-recorded tutorial using the Bodabra. Uh, we have that on Nick's Seasonal Decor. I'll send the link again to Bodabra just so that, you know, if you guys want it, you know, maybe they can share it too. But we did, I think, six different bows in that. And I filmed that, I want to say a month and a half ago, and all the techniques on that apply to every single bow. That turned out really cool. What do you think? I love it. Me too. Winter very soon. Yes, winter soon. We got nine minutes left. So since we have nine minutes left, yeah, that is kind of a unique bow. Look at it against a, a grapevine. Yeah, it's nice. So um, let's get started on our wreath. So the wreath, we're going to actually use two ribbons. We're going to use, we're going to do a watermelon themed wreath. So there's not going to be a watermelon, but the color scheme is going to be watermelon. So let's show these off. Look at those. We should have got a watermelon today. Right? <laughs> okay. Let's Looks like a poinsettia. <laughs> Looks like a poinsettia, right? Instead of a middle loop, what you can do too is just work in, um, some ornaments, some like mini uh, red ornaments or gold ornaments to make that poinsettia. That would be cool. Patty says, love this one. Thank you, Patty. So we did a long tail of the lime green and pink. Now we'll do a shorter tail of just the solid fuchsia. Like that, just for some depth. Now let's start creating. I see over 250 viewers. Thank you, guys. For those of you just tuning in, don't forget we did create a number where you guys can text us from. Uh, so all you have to do is just say hi, send an emoji, send anything you would like, and then you'll be added to our text service where we can notify you each and every time we are live on Bodabra. Every Monday at 7 Eastern. But we can send out the direct link in case you forget. And if you're anything like me, you are quite forgetful. So, Or like me. <laughs> or like dad, yes. <laughs> All right, so just doing a funky bow with both of those ribbons. We showed you guys earlier how to make a funky bow. And once you've practiced this, once you kind of mastered it, it becomes second nature. You don't even have to look, um, you know, once you've created enough bows, it becomes common knowledge. Emily, so, you're right. Sorry, Nick. Emily, you're right. When it's hot out, what perfect day for a watermelon. I know. Ooh. Nothing's as good as a watermelon, and nothing's as bad as a bad watermelon. You I know. know. What I mean? The last one we got was bad. When you get a watermelon and it isn't right, um, there's nothing quite like it. And Yaya is notorious for just putting it in the fridge uh, with nothing on top of it. And I'm not a fan of eating watermelons like that. Nick, you so. forgot the wire. Someone said. Oh, that's okay. I'll that's show okay. you guys how to fix that. Coming yes, back. Nancy, I want a watermelon now, too. Coming back in with another loop of each. And this should be it. We don't need too many. And then we'll add a few flowers. We're going to design this all on top of an 18-inch grapevine. Edna says, do you put salt on a watermelon? I've never tried it. I've never tried that. Alex tried the other night it with honey. I've tried it with cinnamon. I just think, personally speaking, and I know a lot of people are going to hate me for it, I think watermelon's good enough all on its own, and it doesn't need any special treatment or anything on top of it. 
Um, but I know plenty of people that put salt on their watermelon. Nobody close to me though. Nobody, <laughs> nobody, um, you know, in my community does that. Uh, but we have plenty of Southern friends that swear by it and live by it. I just, I've yet to try it with salt. Maybe we'll try that. We'll try it one day, huh? soon. So I'm just going to tie it through like that. So that's what I actually used to do. You know, for years and years, I would just add my wire afterwards. So it's whatever's easiest on you. As long as you don't have a million loops, it should be okay. All right, so that's the bow. We can dovetail this real quick. That way we don't have to do it once it's on the wreath. Everybody says salt on the watermelon, yes. We'll yeah, have to try it. I don't know. Make it sweeter, it says. It huh. makes it sweeter? We'll try it. Is that what they're saying? It makes yeah. it sweeter, though? Great with salt. Everybody says salt, yes. Now yeah, we have to try I never, it. Never, You know, without you guys, I would have never heard about that before. Ever. And I took a poll on my business page, I want to say a few months ago, and I'd say the vast majority of you guys recommended it with salt. And I don't know, I've never done it. I see over 270 viewers. Thank you all so much. Let's see if we can hit 300. Stacy said salt on watermelon is life. We gotta really? try it. I gotta go get a watermelon tomorrow. Yeah, you guys are convincing me. I've never tried it. All right, I think that's all of them. I could be mistaken. One more, right? One more. Fold in half, cut from the middle out towards the wired edge, come back to your wreath. I'll take my bow per usual, upper left-hand corner. I'm just taking that wire, bringing it from one side to the other, and then tying from the front. Give it a couple knots to ensure that it's not going anywhere. Yeah, Denise, that's what I thought too. And that's why I said, you know, I think watermelon's just great on its own, um, but it's still worth a shot just to see. Hi, Brenda. Brenda's recuperating from back surgery. Get well soon, yes, Brenda. Yes, get well, Brenda. Fluff your bow open. Pull those tails from one side to the other. Disperse those colors as evenly as possible. Give everything a good tug. Pull your long tails down. All the way down. And if you guys have any questions at this point in time, feel free to ask. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to make you guys the best bow maker you possibly can be. Congratulations, Nancy Hefner. Nancy Hefner is tonight's winner. Congratulations, Nancy. Let's all send her a congrats. Um, so Nancy, send Bodabra a message with your choice of red, silver, or gold uh, scrunchie ribbon, and they will send it your way. So each and every Monday we are live here, Bodabra generously gives away a free roll of ribbon. And we've had plenty of winners in the past that have said that they've never won anything a day in their lives, but they've won free ribbon. Nancy Kay says you're her favorite bow maker. You explain it well. Oh, thank you. That's the best thing I can hear, you guys. There's no better thing you can say to me than, you know, I've taught you how to make something where you enjoy, you know, spending your evenings with me um, live. So now let's work in a few flowers and a little bit of greenery. We have some of this. This just came from Michael's. It was $2.99, um, and I think I got it like 40% off. So we're just going to take that, dip it in our glue skillet, and poke it into the wreath. Patty said those two colors are great together. Don't they? Everybody's saying congrats to Nancy. And you guys might be the lucky winner next week. Who knows? You never know. Snip your tag off. Dip it in your glue skillet. And right into the wreath it goes. Add as many or as few as you would like. Cheryl says Tennessee swears by salt. <laughs> Tennessee swears by salt. We got to at least just give it a shot, you know? We'll do that. Some say the salt is for the watermelons that aren't that sweet. That aren't that sweet. Yeah. So those might be the watermelons that I say, you know, when I say it's a hit or miss. Sometimes watermelons are awful and you just, you know, you throw out the whole watermelon if it's not good. Yeah. So maybe we just found like an easy hack for it. We'll try. Right? You don't know until you try. I'll have to tell you that, yeah, because the last watermelon we got was awful. Yeah, it was. The one before that, that was great. But I like watermelon where it's been in the fridge for, like, hours on end. Nice cold like watermelon. Nice cold. Yeah. All right, so we have a little bit of greenery in place. Now let's just work in a couple flowers. We don't need many. 
And then I will have all of these bows fluffed out and I will have a picture of all of them sent to you guys uh, or actually sent to Bodabra and you know, you'll see them on Bodabra's page. So here's what these look like up close. Aren't those pretty? They are. These are like an anemone. An anemone? An anemone, <laughs> yes. Not the ones in our fish tank, Dad. Um, the two biggest hobbies, interests, passions of mine are wreaths and what else, Dad? Fish. Reefs. Reefs, reefs. reefs, yeah, I should, didn't, I should have thought of that. You didn't think. You weren't thinking, Dad. Bob says watermelon soaked with vodka. I'm with you, Bob. <laughs> I like that idea, too. You know, people love, like, jello shots and stuff like that. I, I can't get past jello. I've never been a jello fan. Pudding, yes, jello. I love pudding. But it seems like instead of pudding, we always got jello. Steven and Alex love jello. That's why we always have it. <laughs> All right, our final two flowers. Salt enhances the flavor, says Linda. Make sure the spot in the watermelon is yellowish and gold. I'll try that. Huh? Yeah, I actually shared a post that kind of showed you how to pick the perfect watermelon a few months ago. Um, and that seemed to be helpful. That's kind of what we do now. So, yeah, she's exactly right. So there's the wreath. And like I said, we will have it all fluffed out for you. But you guys kind of get the gist. Most important step with bow making is always making sure you fluff every bit of your ribbon. You can be dealing with $60, $75 rolls of ribbon or dollar, $2 rolls of ribbon, and it doesn't make a difference if you don't know how to fluff or if you don't spend the time fluffing, all of the ribbon's gonna look the same no matter what. So spend those extra few minutes, which we'll do after this video, fluffing. So we created, gosh, like five or six bows. So thank you all so very much for tuning in. Uh, next Monday night, unfortunately, we will not be live on uh, Bodabra. Uh, we will be in Texas, so I will reschedule um, and keep you guys updated once we talk with Bodabra, letting you guys know exactly what day we are live. So be sure to text us at 978-396-9150. That way you're always notified whenever we are live here on Bodabra, um, and you don't have to miss it. So even though it's the same day every week, except for next week, um, you know, you'll still get an alert, and you'll get that exact link to go and watch. So thank you all so much. Thank you, Sandy, for having us. Thank you, Terry. Um, and we'll see you all very soon. Bye, everyone. Good night, everyone. Thank you, Terry and Sandy. Good thank night. Thank you.